Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Brittany. A lot of you guys have let me know that you would like to see more recipes for chocolate fillings, so that's what we're gonna do today. Just know that I won't be sharing some of the filling recipes that I'm using because they aren't mine, but I'm happy to share the new flavors and recipes that I develop and experiment with as I come up with them. And as time goes on and I continue learning, I want to share more about filling formulation and extending shelf life. But this will be a process as time goes on, so I hope you'll stick around. Our filling today is a raspberry truffle ganache. This is a favorite chocolate filling with my family and friends, and I've been using the same recipe for over 10 years. So let's get into it. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. Four ounces of heavy cream, four ounces of raspberry puree. I'll show you how to make this. For four ounces of puree, you'll need about 10 to 12 ounces of whole raspberries. You can use fresh or frozen. Two to three tablespoons raspberry extract or emulsion. Two ounces of butter. Three ounces of egg yolks. Three ounces of sugar. And one pound of chocolate. For this recipe, I prefer dark, and you can use any brand of Couverture chocolate that you like. First, I'll show you how to get some juice from your raspberries to use in this recipe. If you'd like, you can also buy raspberry puree. You'll just take the whole raspberries and put them in a pot on the stove with the heat on medium. Then all you do is stir them around until they're nice and juicy. <laughs> I don't know how long this takes, probably no more than 15 minutes, depending on how many you're cooking or if they started out frozen. You'll see them begin to break down and once they're all kind of mashed up and you can clearly see a lot of juice separated from the seeds and stuff, then all you need to do is put them through a mesh strainer. Then just weigh out the four ounces you'll need in the recipe. Next, you'll add your egg yolks to the sugar and with a whisk, whip them together. At first, the mix will be dark yellow and you'll whip them until you see the mix lighten up to a light yellow. Now add the cream, raspberry puree, raspberry extract or emulsion, and butter to a pot on the stove and bring the mixture to a boil. You may have noticed that I only added half of my raspberry emulsion at first. I did this because it was a brand that I'd never used before and I didn't know how strong it would be so I tasted it later and I ended up using two tablespoons total. I usually use the extract brand from the grocery store, I think it's McCormick or Watkins uh, raspberry extract and with that I usually add more like three to four tablespoons. So depending on what you guys choose to use you might have to do it to your own taste. Once the mixture is boiling, you will temper the egg and sugar mixture by adding a little bit of the hot mixture at a time as you're whisking to slowly warm up the eggs without cooking them. Once most of the hot liquid is added to the egg mixture, you'll put all of it back on the stove and bring the whole mix to a boil.
Now I'm just going to carefully melt half of my chocolate. I'm just doing this to make sure it all gets melted when I add the hot liquids right on top of it. Now I just wait a couple of minutes to give the chocolate a chance to melt all the way. Then I just stir it all together. After it's all combined, I use a stick blender to really get things emulsified and smooth. You can see the temperature of my mixture right here is about 49 degrees Celsius. Now I need to let the ganache cool down to around 28 degrees Celsius before I pipe it into my chocolates. To make the cooling process a little bit quicker, I take the amount that I'll need and put it into a disposable piping bag. I use the coolness of the countertop to help cool down the ganache. Now when I take the temperature again, I see that the ganache is right under 28 degrees Celsius, so I'll just pipe it right into my molds. Here I use the ganache for two molds, each with 24 cavities, but this recipe really could do about four molds. This ganache is a little bit thicker, so after piping it, I gently tap each side of the mold to help level out the filling. I hope that you enjoy this raspberry truffle recipe and I hope that you give it a try. Let me know if you do. If you liked today's video, please give it a like down below. It helps me out a lot. And leave me a comment and let me know what flavor filling you'd like to see a video on next. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.